grab your dumbbells for this 30 minute workout. We're gonna go through three different sections. First, a quick warm up, three exercises, get that blood pump and get you feeling nice. After that, I'm gonna quickly go over the exercises that are in our next section. That's gonna be our interval circuit. So it's four exercises of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, using your dumbbells, trying to get the heart rate up. After that, small breather, then we're gonna wrap things up with some strength training. So that's gonna be sets and reps, but really round this out. Let's get started with that warm up. What you wanna do, grab one of your dumbbells, I use adjustable dumbbells throughout this workout, but if you have a pair heavy and light, or even if you have a kettlebell just laying around, grab that because you never know. Goblet squats to start, 10 total. Hands on top like a goblet cup, sit those hips back, brace that midsection. Let's go. Keep your count, 10 total. Three, four, ease into it. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, I'm definitely stiff. This workout or this warm up is much needed for me. Meet me on the ground. I had leap bowling last night and my body's a little stiff. Push ups are next, 10 total. If you're doing modified, I'm gonna show those first. But if you're doing unassisted, rock those out, 10 total. What I'm gonna do, come up to my push-up position, and I'm gonna drop my knees straight down. From here, I really wanna work on bringing my chest and hips down at the same time with those elbows not going out to the side at a diagonal, okay? Keep your count. Oh, that feels great. Okay, next what we have is bare leg extensions. One of my faves, as I always say. I'm gonna show you bare position, and then we're gonna extend our leg towards that back wall, five each side, okay? Hold it for at least one strong second. Really feel that glute. Really feel that, that brace in your abdominals, okay? So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate up, and I'm gonna extend my leg straight back, Squeeze that butt and come back in, okay? Five each side. Remember what I said, hold it for at least a second. And five. Ooh. Ooh. The last one is a little rushed. Grab your weight to the top. Goblet squats, 10 total. Set your feet, hands up top. Go through your checklist. Feet, abdominal bracing, hips. Let's rock. One. Six. Seven. Eight. And 10, oh yeah. <sighs> towel and water close by. Grab a sip, a quick towel off whenever you need. If you're doing assisted push-ups, rock those. I'm gonna do unassisted. 10 total, keep your count. Okay, quick arm shake out after this last one. We're gonna quickly go over the exercise in the circuit, the interval circuit. Follow along during those, okay? Bare leg extensions, five each side. Hand set, knees up. Oh, oh yeah. 
Okay, our four exercises. The first one, to get that heart rate up, cross jacks. After that, bottom to top. Next, bent over rows. Then lastly, weighted crunch. So that first one, like I said, getting that heart rate up, and we wanna maintain that intensity. So variation on a jumping jack, we're crossing our feet and we're crossing our arms. Different types of modifications, just eliminate the crossing for either your upper body or your lower body, okay? So if I'm doing the full version, I'm crossing up top and the same thing with the feet. I'm crossing, okay? Cross jacks. You get tired, maybe I'm just going to the feet. Or maybe I'm just here with the arms. Keep moving for that 40 seconds, okay? Next one, grab your weights. Add those weights for yours and I still turn them the wrong way. Bottom to top, just how it sounds. Weights come down the sides of your legs. You'll notice I'm doing a squat, but my feet are closer than normal. That's so the weights can pass by my legs, okay? So I really push those hips back, I sit down, and I use momentum to drive it up, okay? This one we are using momentum to get that full body movement, okay? Bottom to top. After that one, bent over rows. This exercise, it's really in the setup. So take that time to prep your setup. Feet are probably gonna be in the same position that they were just in, hip width apart. So from there, soft knees, hinge from the hips, that flat back, weights are hanging down front, and I'm putting the weights into my side pocket here. So I'm pulling into that side pocket while keeping that whole brace, okay? Big key there. And then lastly, weighted crunch, just one of your weights on the ground. I'm gonna set my feet flat on the ground. And from there, this weight is gonna be pushed straight up while I keep that separation between my chin and my chest. I'm looking up and I, I say this each time, there's a difference between reaching this weight up and really extending that weight up and reaching for that extra distance, okay? The ladder is what we want. Really focusing on that reach. So grab a sip, let's get prepared. Here's where we prep. We're getting ready. Press play, we want the most. 40 seconds, give it your best effort. As you start to fatigue, those arms don't wanna be down here. You fight it. Especially this first one, set the tone. You give me that best effort. We're in this together, come on. I want it, I want it, come on. Come on. Weights up. Listen for that bell. I tell you this honestly, each time about how when I, when I work out sometimes when I'm filming, Sometimes the body's just not there. Sometimes you're sore, you're mentally not, not there. And today, I really just went. I went through my same rhythm, got ready, breather, and I went for it. Sometimes the brain 
plays tricks on us. It tells us we're not ready when we just need that little push. Take those as confidence builders and prove that you can do it. Sometimes it's that battle with yourself. Round one there, one for the books. my microphone here. This shirt is not having it. It's because I usually wear an undershirt when I film and that cord that's a lavalier cord that's attached to my microphone. It's already sticking to my body and just pulling that top end. That's part of filming, part of the process. joke for you before we get going it's my if you take my other workout sometimes you see my cat my oldest cat she'll make an appearance and I was gonna let her stay because it's her birthday today 13 years old 13 year old cat still the princess of the house
Round three. Champions round. This is where I consider the, the biggest confidence booster. Round three, you look back and you think at, how did I crush those other two rounds? Yep, come on. Grip break. Come on, weight's up. Two more to go. team. breather we wrap this up put a bow on this workout Give yourself a pat on the back. Not done yet. Okay. Our exercises here. Already L's. 10. And I'm gonna go through that first round with you. Cues, what we wanna hit. Okay, already L's. 10. Lateral raise, 10. Close push-ups, 10. Tricep extensions, eight. Plank walkout, four. So five exercises that we roll with while we're taking a little breather here. In the background, I can kind of see 
I wear a root band right now. As I test it out, this is one I'm gonna be sticking with. I can see the strain, they call it strain. How much strain you put on your body. And I was surprised to see that the strain for my dumbbell workout so far are higher than my hip cardio ones. Just fascinating little or uh, insight there. 10 RDLs here. What I'm gonna do is feet hip width apart. So we've been going through this position a lot. Bottom position is the same as those rows out. We did weight stay close. Now I'm gonna load my hamstrings, my glutes, and my low back and come straight up. That range will depend upon your own flexibility, mobility level, and where you're at, okay? 10 total. Feel that backside load. This is an exercise that Always good whenever I feel like my hips are tightening, causing a little strain on my low back. I always go to this exercise. Strengthen that backside. Adjust your weights, arm weights, lateral raises, 10 total. I have a staggered stance. You can do feet stacked one right next to each other. I have staggered here, helps me brace my midsection a little bit better. Hands at the side, raise eye level, back down, 10 total. want to do don't just put your weights away grab your tricep weight and set it on the ground so what you're gonna use for the tricep extension set those on the ground close push-ups I'm not gonna do diamond push-ups I'm gonna do push-ups where my hands are about a foot apart the same concept arms coming close to the body brace Try to keep that flat back, okay? 10 total. Keep my stance, and that's something you can always adjust with your hands. Turn it over. Tricep extensions, eight. Elbows, bend from the elbows. Down and back up, okay? Finish position will be as if, right, if you were doing chest press. My palms are facing in. I hinge from the elbows within my own range. And then I come back up. Keep your count. Just control pace. If you felt like you were struggling on any of those reps or your range was limited, just drop it down a weight. Okay? Plank walk out, turn it over. What you're gonna do is my arms are gonna be extended in a plank position. I'm gonna walk them out, hold it for a second and then walk it back in, okay? Plank, walk out, four total. Hold it out there for at least a good solid second. <sighs> Feel that brace. Walk it back. Reset. Reset that plank position when you come back. any point during that plank walkout, you felt like you were more wobbling to get that distance. Set that base of support. Increase where your feet are, or you can go the other way. Felt like it was too easy. Decrease that base, base of support. 
and really work on that, that bracing so that plank stiff as a board. To the top. I put it on a light gray shirt. It's in dark gray right here. RDLs, 10 total. Let's go. Feels great. Lateral raise. Tricep weights. Adjust your stance with your hands if you need to. Push ups, close grip push ups, 10 total. Break short, less than 30. That's 30 seconds. Don't let it go past that. Come on, tricep extensions. there. Take me back into your arms. <sighs> like walk out. It's a little bit of wrist circle action there. Give me one more chance, my love. Take me Come on. Back into Four total. round. Focus. Give me one more chance. 
Swap the weights. Last set of push-ups, come on. Two more, head down. Come on, head down, focus. Eyes on the prize, tricep extensions. exercise. Make it your best set. it is as I talked about in the middle of the workout sometimes your brain wants to make you delay wait so it knows it's gonna be a challenge and getting that rhythm going helps get the wheels turning get the feet moving and that's why I always talk about building confidence in your workouts you might be thinking, oh, I used to do more weight or I used to be stronger, but it is not a instant gratification. That's exercise, working out. It's a long-term thing. And so finding those little bits of positivity, like I mentioned, you just, you press play. You got those wheels turning, you got the feet moving. It's big in my book. That's a big step towards that long-term goal. If you like the workout, Make sure you subscribe, future workouts, notifications, all that great stuff. Keep showing up, keep working hard. Catch you next time.